My name's Daniel Hoyne. My position at Champion Data is an AFL analyst. I'll never forget my first grand final calling. I was, I was a nervous wreck. It took me seven or eight years to actually get to calling my first grand final. And you still get that energy and you still get that excitement, which you know, I, I think is a great thing. Becoming a match caller is, is quite difficult. It's quite challenging. We do call uh, so many, you know, so many stats. Man Curvis, ruck hard, kick, ineffective clearance contest. You need to be able to ID every single player across every single club. You know, our job on game day is we need to be able to look um, straight away and identify who that player is. Cochin, loose handball, tackled by Graham. There's five of us in the champion data box who all have uh, various different roles. Next to me, we have an interchange operator. Their role is to record who is coming on and off the ground at all times. To my left I have a IT support operator and then behind me we have two match-up operators and they are basically just recording who is playing on who at all times. So while we're in the box, uh, we have five people in our bunker. So we have a back caller who's listening in to my call. And if I happen to make any mistakes or miss any bits of play, they have the vision in front of them. They make adjustments accordingly. So we have a keyboarder. They have to listen to my call and then they input all the data and then that gets fed out to all clients. We also have a graphical capture operator. Their role is to plot where the ball is on the ground at all stages. And then we also have a pressure and kicking capture uh, operators. So their role is to record the amount of pressure that is on every single disposal and along with uh, recording all different types of kicking information. So how difficult the kick is, what type of kick they're actually trying to pull off, the distance of the kick and the intent of the kick. The stake now lead mark, play on. Or goal, mark, mark, play on. Stats are available sub-second. We have a live system that's in place where coaches, media, you know, TV, radio, apps, where the data is coming through as it actually happens. You know, we're in an industry now where, where clients can't afford to wait within you know, a minute, two minutes. They want, they want their data and they want it live. So we have to provide that service and the service that we provide is within sub-second. My name is Carl Jackson. I'm the Senior Statistician at Champion Data. And my main role here is coming up with new stats, maintaining stat definitions and creating reports that the clubs and media use to analyse the game. Clubs come to us with ideas for how they want to play the game and they've got specific tactics that they want to monitor or, or game styles. Not all of those are covered by conventional statistics, so they often need us to create a new statistic to measure a certain specific aspect of the game. So we're probably at the limit now in what we can record in terms of events with the ball and players around the ball. Uh, from that we can extrapolate out to, to new metrics and new ways of deriving information from that. But the, the next thing we're going to see is, is information coming from the player tracking, so the GPS units that the players use. Uh, we've, had, we've had that information for all of this year and we're getting better at turning that into tactical analysis and, and information re relating to where the players are in relation to each other and to their opponents. But the, the interesting development is going to be when that player tracking information gets converted into tactical measures. So identifying when teams have got a loose man in defence or a loose man at stoppage, looking at separation distance for defenders, are they playing in front or behind, so specifically related to, to the tactics and the structures of teams.